Hey everyone, today I am going to show you how to use Google Forms to make a communication log to record when you communicate with your families and or students. All right, so we're going to start with a new form. Um, and the cool thing about this is actually I'm going to show you how to put this on your phone, on your home screen. All right, so let's go ahead and title it communication log. Um, you can even do family communication log. All right, click up here on the top. It automatically titles it for you. You can describe it if you want. Untitled question. I'm going to start with the date. And it automatically, it's kind of smart here, so it can, it's going to put in a calendar for you. Let's go to the next question. Time. And you see here it automatically gives you a clock and you can adjust these if you wanted the time first as opposed to the date you can just move these down I myself prefer to start with the date all right next question is going to be student and I like to use initials you can use initials names whatever you want to use let's just Go ahead and put a few in here. And then I prefer to add other just in case maybe you're contacted by a previous parent and or student or maybe a prospective uh, family contacts you um, or uh, just for whatever reason. Okay. And that is uh, also, you can see here, set to multiple choice. And... Then we're going to go ahead and we're going to add another one. And here we are adding the way that you are being communicated uh, or that you're communicating with. So we're going to put communication made by. And here we are going to use phone call. And we're going to be pretty specific. Phone call answered. Phone call left message. And let's see what else. We're going to go, what other options we have here? Uh, text message. You, let's see, let's spell this correctly. Uh, another option may be uh, email. And yes, you always have the uh, email as proof, um, but still I like to be able to just record that anyway. It's a nice, it's nice to just keep all your communication in one spot. Um, and then Class Dojo is an app that I use to communicate with my parents, so I can just throw that in here as well. Um, Google Classroom private post, and of course other and that always just leaves me that it's just that default that leaves me that extra little piece all right now most important details oh. all right now here it says paragraph and you do have the option to have a short answer but paragraph I find is the best because then you can just type all the details you need if it's something that really needs a lot of details, uh, of course you can just make it short and simple as well. Okay, and uh, you can also change here, make it required. You can do that for all of your questions. And the great thing about this is if you happen to skip it by accident, if you're rushing, it will not let you submit without answering that. So, that's something and you'll see is a little red asterisk after the questions. And so that's really important for me. I like to have that on there. It's just kind of make sure that in my rush on a busy day that I don't miss anything. Okay, good. Our form's done. So the next step is to create uh, the spreadsheet that's going to hold all the responses. So we click responses and you'll see there's the plus uh, sign here, which is going to create the spreadsheet. And then we have the three dots over here. And here what we're going to do is click get email notification for responses. And that's important. You want to be able to 
Um, actually, you really don't need email notifications for your own responses because, well, you don't want to email yourself. You don't want to get an email every time you respond. But this is important to know if you're creating forms for your students, for quizzes, um, or if you have forms that you want your parents to fill out. So I'm glad I'm showing you this, but you really don't need it for yourself unless you want an additional um, uh, an additional uh, way to see that you've logged um, some communication. Anyway, so let's click here, create a new spreadsheet. Look at that, it already has the title of your communication log. Click create. And there you go. It will put a time stamp and a date, regardless of what the time and date are on the form that you type in. Uh, it'll put it for when you actually log it in, which is kind of cool. Um, and then here are the questions that you or the information that you would put in. And so that'll log all those details in there. And then that's it. That it's it's good. Now, if you click up here on this little folder, it will actually let you move it to wherever you want to put it. And you can create a new folder and you can call this communication log and create a folder, move here. Same thing. Okay. Close this, same thing over here. We can move this to communication log. That way they'll both be together. And you might uh, want to create a, a response every month. In fact, you can go up here and uh, create a new one. Well, that one's already created. You can download your responses once those are complete. Uh, you can download them every month, you can download it every year, whatever works for you. All right, so now what we want to do is send our form. So we're going to click up here, send, and we're going to email it to ourselves. And we're going to click right here, include form in email. That uh, is important if you want the form inside your email. Now, actually, we really don't need to have it in the email but we can click the link and you can actually shorten the url that makes it nice and sweet um, but you can click you can send it as a link you don't have to um, but it is it is helpful and then we're going to come back here we're going to send it to ourselves and there is our email i have no idea who that other email was popped up and we're going to send it and there it goes. It is sent to me and I'm going to get it up off my phone and I will show you how to save it to your home screen. Okay, so this is how you're going to access the form. You are going to open up your email and here it says, I've invited you to fill out your communication form. Okay, so what I want to do is fill out in Google and it's gonna open up this form and then I'm gonna press those little dots up there, add to home screen, I'm going to add it and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to hold this and release it. There you go, communication log right there on the home screen. Now, anytime I wanna fill that out, I just tap it it's going to open up and there it is. Put in the date, the time, the student, phone call, wanted to talk about progress. Submit. And then it'll give me the option to submit another response. Well, I'm done. That's it. So I wanted to bring you back and show you um, the result of me filling out that communication log. So um, 
This was one that I did a little earlier. Uh, communication log is right here. And here is on that form, you'll see responses. It says one. And I click it. And it'll say response. And it shows it's color coded. There was the student that I had responded to. And there it is. Phone call, it's all color coded. Wanted to talk about progress. And here is the what the spreadsheet looks like. The timestamp with the date, time, the student, all that information that I put in. There it is. That's what it looks like. And I found that in my Google Drive under the folder where I had saved it. All right, there you go.